And um, we went in and started looking at these private companies and their software and their security. And we realized, first off, there are no security standards. So there are no national standards that any voting company needs to, to meet as far as the uh, security on their software. And as a result of that, we then began to look and we realized how easy it is to change votes. Uh, the software is so bad you can easily change the audit trail so that later you cannot even forensically go back and find out the votes that were changed. And that led us to a number of areas. One, we said, well, what happens to your vote after whatever the voting company locally does to it? What, what happens to it? Well, it turns out in the case of Texas and 28 other states, it all goes to a server in Frankfurt, Germany, which is owned by Barcelona, Spain, multinational. And that's who actually controls and reports your vote. I got to jump in. So here in Texas, if you vote early, and so your vote is being stored, you think, safely somewhere. The data about all the votes in Texas and 27 other states, the early voting data is actually being held in a server in Germany. That is correct. And not only that, Gracious. but in their process in the, in, by a company called Seidel. Um, and in their process, uh, we can even see malware sitting there collecting all the credentials of all the county workers everywhere who are submitting information up, which means you can now go back into the county and change votes there too. So you don't just change it in, in Frankfurt, you can go back and even change it here. And the software is just that bad and it is that insecure that um, someone with a reasonable knowledge of hacking could absolutely go in and change it. And we're seeing now the issue you were talking about with all the vote harvesting and absentee and early voting and mail-in voting, we're seeing what happens when software that is that bad